everyone, welcome back. And this is my review of Log Horizon Season 2, Episode 7. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I think Halkowski is the best fucking character in the series. Honestly. Okay. And I was kind of conflicted with her in this episode in a way. And for the reason that she... It seemed like at first that they were just... That they didn't actually believe in her abilities, so they were just sending her away to training to get rid of her until this battle was done. That's what it seemed like at first. And if that was the case, I would have been really fucking pissed. But she actually does enter the battle with them at the end of the episode, which is good. And also, I forget what they called this sword, if they actually gave it a name at all. But this sword, which apparently can rust any armor and dull any blade, which is actually pretty fucking cool. I'll have to use that sometime. It's really fucking cool, actually. It's a simple ability, but it's effective, obviously. Um, so, so the armor's a lot less effective uh, for a person, and also the bla blades can't really cut nearly as good well, if at all. So that, that's actually pretty cool. And it's clear that Akatsuki's probably going to end up getting that blade. Be perfectly honest with you, which is pretty cool. I'm glad that I'm glad that it seems like that they're saving, reserving that blade for Akatsuki. Because again, she's my favorite character in the goddamn series. I mean, any more upgrades that she can get, I'm all for. Okay. Other than that, we also did get a little bit with Princess Lanessia, and you know, I constantly talk about how much I love Akatsuki, but I like Princess Lanessia as a character too. Okay, and she did get definitely get a conflicting decision in this episode. Her conflicting decision in this episode was to either uh, lower the magic circle. Um, or not, and her friends did assure her that if she chooses not to, then nothing will happen between the friendship, they can still be friends, okay, and this whole decision came on in the first place because she, I'm guessing that they, it will make it a lot easier for them to fight if she lowers the magic circle, however, if she does lower it, that will leave Akihabara completely free for monsters to roam through there, which normally they couldn't because of the magic circle. Okay. And it'll take a, at least a few decades to, re, to put it back up again, I'm guessing. So it's a huge decision for her. And even though the battle st is starting at the end of this episode, she's still contemplating that. And of course, that's really bad, you know. It's really bad if monsters can just roam free in Akihabara. J just like that, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, so it's pretty, pretty good episode, okay? I like that this series is actually starting to get a little bit better, at least for me, because as I kept saying, ever since, like, all through season one, except for the parts where we dealt, dealt, dealt with both Princess Lanessia, Akatsuki, and Minori, where we had episodes centric around, centered around them, I thought it was pretty well decent. In this season, we haven't really got any Minori-centric centric episodes. It's pretty much just... So pretty much just the Akatsuki and Lin Princess Lanessia centered episodes I thought were good. Other than that, I thought it was just decent. Okay, I keep saying that. Well, this episode centered around both. Mainly Akatsuki, but Princess Lin Lanessia as well. So it's a really good episode because of that, to me. Okay, I really did like it. The music, okay, I don't know, I don't remember if I've ever commented on the music in Log Horizon, except for maybe in my Season 1 full series review. But the music in Log Horizon is fucking amazing, okay? Like... If there's one thing I say that the Log Horizon does fucking outstandingly, that would be the music. The music in Log Horizon is so fucking good. Especially database. Like, and for the opening, like, they recycled the same song. They, they, uh, they, uh, have different visuals, slight, for, for the most part. But they did recycle the same song, and usually I complain that they're just lazy, too lazy to th think of a different song. But in this case, I'll let it slide, because Database is such a fucking epic-ass song, okay? It really is. I l love Database. Um, so, yeah. So, other than that, I don't really think there's anything else for me to say. I just wanted to state that positive there. So, this because whenever I'm able to, pa to praise this series, I will, Okay. Like, whenever I feel like I'm able to, I definitely will. And I know people are probably sick and tired of me, uh, constant, not really bashing on this series, but not praising it as often as they probably want me to, then, 
Well, there's some praising for you there. Other than that, the uh, scene with the board in this episode is comp is really boring for me, like it always is. Like, and I can handle talking in an in, in an anime like pl strategy planning. Okay, Death Note and Code Geass are two of my favorite animes of all time, and they are littered with strategy talking, talking about st strategy and whatnot, especially Code Geass. But they're interesting. <laughs> okay. I'm interested in what they have to say, because the characters who are talking are actually really good fucking characters. Here, not so much, unfortunately. But still, I thought it was a pretty good episode. It was better than what we usually get, in my opinion, so at least we have that. Uh, if you get to see this week's episode of Log Horizon, I'd probably definitely recommend it just simply because uh, most people love the series. But if you're like me... And the only two characters in this season that you like so far are Princess Lanessi and Akatsuki. I still recommend it. Okay. Uh, I'd probably recommend it anyways because you probably need to watch it just to understand the story later on. But you know what I mean. <laughs> um, I definitely recommend this if you're a fan of both Princess Lan Lanessi and Akatsuki. Because they get the spotlight in this episode. Especially Akatsuki. And I, I can't... And I can't really say I can't wait for next week's episode. Because I don't know what's going to happen next week's episode. Uh, normally it's not an issue for me, but again, if it's not centered around one of those two characters, I really don't care. But anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See if that's what you guys think for watching. Bye-bye.